Are you tired of applying to third-party websites like Upwork or Fiverr and you're looking for another way for you to get and attract clients for your freelancing business? Stay at the end of this video because I have something for you. digital marketing strategist and also the founder of Digital Savvy VS, a marketing agency who works with food bloggers and influencers. And I'm also a podcast host of Savvy Talks podcast where we talk about money, mindset, habits, and motivation. Lastly, I'm also the author of the book, How to Kickstart Your Online Freelancing Career. And so I love talking more or I love talking in my content about freelancing and earning money online because I've done it before and I just want to share it also. It's not just limited to also freelancing just anything you can think of about um, earning money online like for example affiliate marketing or um, investment or crypto or stocks yes I dive in into these um, industries or these kind of gigs or side hustles and I just try them because why not earning money online is fun because you can just do things a lot of different ways and trial and error and you can just try to figure out what works for you and what doesn't but anyway, back to the topic for this video, we're going to be talking more about freelancing because we're going to be talking about how you can get more clients outside websites or platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, OnlineJobs.ph or any similar platforms. Now, they're not. I'm not saying that they don't work, I'm saying that they work, but what if they don't work for you? So here are some tips that I can share to you that might work for you. If these platforms doesn't work for you or if these platforms works for you but you're still looking for another way to get and attract more clients. So are you ready? Alright, so here are some ways that you can get clients for your freelancing business. One of my favorite is networking. Yes, I know. Sometimes it can be draining, especially if you're an introvert, because then you have to show your face, you have to connect with people, you have to socialize. But I've been into your position. I also was an ambivert, so I have an introverted side. And for me, it's still kind of like, even until now, I still have a hard time phasing or like talking to people in some days. I'm not saying it's every day because I love socializing. I really, that's why it's my favorite thing, networking in both in person and in, in virtual or like virtually. What I love about this is that you can connect with people in your similar industry or your potential clients or just meeting people that are just amazing in what they do and you would be surprised that they would really be able to help you in not only getting clients but also in just improving your skills, in your career, in your life. That was a lot. But as I'm saying, networking is really powerful. Now, if this doesn't work for you, stay tuned still because I still have a lot of other strategies of attracting clients that might still work for you if networking is really not for you. But hey, maybe you would want to try it just as I did before because I really did try and put my finger in it just to make sure if it really kind of works for me because I've also watched a lot of different um, YouTube videos or have watched seminars, webinars, and some of them really point out networking and that's why I was encouraged to do it for myself and for my business and that was because I really want it. Now, if you feel like that's really not for you, then you don't really have to do it. But if you're in the middle of like, should I? Should I really have to? Then try doing it yourself. Because trust me, I have that voice in my head like, oh my god, maybe it's not for me, but also I'm like, oh my god, maybe I could really um, connect with people. Maybe it is for me. So then try it. Try it if that's what you think or if that's what's going in your head. If you don't have anybody to push you right now, then here I am. I'm pushing you. Go for it. So what would you do with networking? You go and find people that is in similar industry as you or you go find people where your potential clients are. You connect with them, you talk to them. But one thing you need to note is to not sell. 
never ever sell in a networking event well it's kind of like a thin line really of like maybe you're selling maybe you're not if they ask you what you do of course you're gonna be saying like oh I do this but don't all oversell maybe you can just say something about like this is what I do and this is how I help people but then you have to really engage more in the conversation not just be focusing more about you and that's the secret sauce of like how can you really connect and be able to find if not attracting client or if it's not if it's not your client maybe a referral um, someone who could refer you to your potential clients and that's very important to note and also make sure to focus on giving value to people so if in the conversation it would come up like oh um, I would need this in my social media um, accounts maybe you're a social media manager and then someone in the networking event would point out like maybe I need this in my social media or I have this problem in my social media then you can just voice out like oh this is how you can fix that problem but not sell like this is how I can help instead of saying this is how I can help you would say something like this is how you can fix that problem and I have done this with this client and it works so maybe you can try it that focus more on that um, way of expressing and putting value out there than actually saying um, mostly focusing about you what you do what you can do for others what you can do for others in a way of talking now this would work on like how you put it in your portfolio like this is how I can help you this is how I can do it but with delivering it it's mostly based on a value that you can bring to the table without selling it so I hope I hope that makes sense if it doesn't make sense, just put the question in the comment anyways. I'll be there to answer and address it. And so how this works is when you're done with networking, don't ever forget to also connect with them after the event. So let's say, for example, there are people that you really love connecting. Uh, maybe they're potential clients. Maybe they're people in your industry and you just want to connect with them because they're amazing at what they do. And you kind of like was awed about how they were able to pull it off or how it how they were able to get to where they are right now in their life and that's what you want to become for example in whichever career you are right now and that's the career also that they have so go for it and reach out to them after the events and also for your potential clients maybe don't be more of like selling side again just be something about like hey it was great to meet you and I really love what you do and I love this kind of things I love that for example, you were able to engage in a conversation, talk about the conversation that you were talking during the networking events, may it be virtual or in person, and then say have a great week or um, wish them a good thing about their business. And every now and then, just connect with them also. If they don't reply, that's fine. If they reply, then keep engaging with them again without selling. Just keep on continuing and connecting with them. I usually like to put them in... A spreadsheet but now I transitioned to Airtable but way way before I use a spreadsheet to track all the people that I want to connect with and just have them in a spreadsheet maybe may it be their email or whatever contact um, information we were able to share during the networking events and then just keep on focusing again to give value I know this is kind of like overused word and probably all freelancing um, educational videos or whatever but it is really true that's that works for me and maybe other freelancing gurus as well that's why they keep on pointing it out but yes it did work of like just putting yourself and then um and then just being able to really put the value to other people and then things would just come back to you instantly if it comes so yeah that's networking that's number one in my um, love to do when getting clients or getting other ways to or another way to get more clients for your business or for my agency now it still works until now to be honest and then of course we have the second one the second one I don't really like doing it but some how it works for other people so I'm just gonna point it out in this video it's called email there are people that I know and I respect who have done this but I don't really like doing it. I've done it and I've tried it and I know it doesn't work for me, so I stopped doing it. 
but if you're looking into some other ways and you feel like you're confident into sending cold emails you want to like connect with people in a way where they don't know you yet but you just keep on connecting or if maybe you have done this task before from your previous clients you already did cold email and you might also want to try it for your freelancing business and then maybe you can put a finger in it and then try it for yourself and maybe it would work also because you have already the background now if you don't have the background into what cold email is i highly recommend for you to follow alex berman and follow his content because i do love his content about cold email i do know this works for other businesses but i just know that it's not for me so i stopped doing it but i'm still adding it in here in the list because it might work for you and you can just use different types of um, email platforms or like tools that you can use for cold email tools that you can use for this kind of cold email project so just do it if that works for you if it doesn't we still have our number three so the number three is guest posting so basically you just reach out to different bloggers different magazines or contribute to other people's blogs and write about things that is your in expertise and then talk about mostly about educating people and especially your potential clients so educate them into what your services are but not saying like oh this is my services but mostly of like what kind of problems you fix for your clients or for your potential clients and make them your target audience when you're writing the article so for example again you're a social media specialist and your target audience are any small business owners and then you can write about an article or you can write an article about social media for small business owners what kind of um, problems you fix maybe you can say how to grow your Instagram from zero to 1,000 in a week I don't know if that's possible but maybe you can it, it's just an example so something um, that kind of content that you can create and write and then pitch to different bloggers magazines and do like a contribution style or just guest posting basically and send it to them and then they would then pub how it works is that they would publish it on their blogs or their magazines and then they would credit you as the author so then if someone would read if a potential client would read it and they want your services then you can just see who's writing it who wrote it sorry who wrote it or like you can even leave your um, contact info while you're writing the articles and then they would just go and reach out to you if that's something that they want to do for their business and your services is something that they want to try on also this is for someone who really likes writing who likes to educate by writing especially if you're also not into um, doing video content you're you're not you don't prefer creating video content then this is really good for you because you can just keep on writing if you're the right if you're the person who loves to write and educate people through writing so um, in a way you can still market yourself because I know nowadays a lot of people love short form videos or videos in general or video marketing and you might be feeling like you're being left behind because you're more into writing or you're lo you're more into reading um, articles or yeah you're just basically into writing so then you can still compete to these to your competitors who do short form videos or video marketing one of it is for writing guest posts and then we go to the next one which is one also of my favorite thing to do social media so social media marketing is what I love to do because I'm also in social media or I'm a digital marketer obviously I would love social media but you don't have to have a huge following so this is an important thing for you to um, to know is that you don't have to have a huge following to get clients in your business or in your freelancing business trust me it I experienced it myself I don't have a huge following because I mostly especially before when I was a freelancer I focused mostly on working in my clients accounts and my client social media accounts so I don't really have the time to work on my own so what I did is still being consistent of posting showing up in my social media as much as I can well sometimes there are times that I just can't do it because well I don't have all the capacity to work on both my my account and my so my clients account however I still keep on going back and just try to be consistent as much as they can and putting out content that would 
educate also my potential clients and help them solve the problem by giving solutions but of course not too much solution because then how would they go and find me or like my, how would they go and come and um, get my services so just show up really in your social media don't be discouraged it's really normal for you to keep on putting consistent content for a week and nothing comes in for a month and still no one's reaching out to you that's normal that's um, that's just how it is so just keep on tweaking your strategies um, improving your social media strategies now if you don't like social media strategies because they're, they're just another level of you overthinking of doing more tasks for you especially if you're not into marketing let's say for example you're a video editor or a graphic designer and social media isn't just your thing then you don't have to keep on creating strategies just keep on putting your content out there and then every now and then if you have time connect with your potential clients in your social media platforms and make sure to focus in one social media platform only if you're not very keen with social media yet but if you find yourself loving it and it works for your business then you can just keep on investing it and improving in that direction so again the way you can get more clients to your social media platforms or social to do your social media marketing is to be consistent in producing quality good content that gives value what I mean by this is that you tell your potential clients or you put content that targets your potential clients about problems that they might have and how they can solve it now you don't have to be so detailed about it you can just give a list or maybe um, recommend a tool that they could use for them to work on it now if they don't really want to work on it then that's the time they would probably decide to get your services for you to fix that type of problem for them and then second one is to be consistent also in connecting with your potential clients in your social media platforms of choosing if you're very savvy at it and you love social media you can just choose a couple of social media platforms to put your content on and to focus on but if you're not as savvy again focus on one social media platform and just grow there and just keep on being consistent and connect with people this could just get you like 10 minutes out of your day to create to connect with your potential clients now to create content I would suggest for you to batch create content for a month this would take you at least one day of your whole month now that's really something you can invest on or at least I would recommend and it's not going to go to waste I promise you if you just focus on creating content and that again provides a value to your potential client and of course keep on connecting with them there now we're down to the last one I hope you're still there <laughs> God, this is also my favorite. It's referral. Okay, so how does referral work? So aside from networking, of course, you can find people who would refer you. This type of referral is coming from your clients themselves, your existing clients. So what they would do is if they love what you do, they really like your personality, they would recommend you to other people who are who works in the same industry as them and just connect you to them also now this is going to be for me it is way easier because I could focus on the clients that I have and put all my soul into working with the projects that we have together just keep on focusing on how we could improve all the tasks or how we could improve the work that we're doing together for example on my end it's like marketing or um, anything that involves digital marketing I would just focus on improving the strategies I have with them and sometimes even put on or go into extra mile to create something else of like doing a little bit of this or that to put in into um, the work the project that we have together just to make sure that it works and without even putting like hey you should pay me for doing this no I, I sometimes just not do that and just keep on um, focusing on how really I could help her business or their businesses to go to another step to another step higher of or another go to the next level just to make sure that they could still they could really get revenue or they can get more money for their business or they would be successful in their business or scale up 
yeah i i mostly get my clients now from referrals like for example this one so i get my clients from people saying hey someone recommended you from this community or someone recommended you from or i know this person and she recommended you and your services so how can i reach you out and i i really love doing it because i don't have to focus more into like oh no what if i don't have time to do all the four things which is the networking cold email or i don't really do cold emails so it's just the networking the social media marketing and also every now and then the guest posting but yes focusing mostly on just providing value and just having a little bit of extra time to do the social media then i have wider range of reach to find more potential clients to work with me and that is all of the things that I could recommend. So to recap, we have five, I have five tips for you on how you can find more clients and that's networking, cold email, guest posting, social media, and referrals. So referrals is probably the easiest way because you just have to focus on your existing clients right now, work on what you could work and improve on what you could improve and give more value to them and also just do your best and universe will do the rest but yes that is it for this video now if you love this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you have questions just drop them down below in the comment section and if you love and you find value to this um, content feel free to share them to someone who you think might also find this valuable and if ever you want more guidance to, to your freelancing career or if you're aspiring if you're an aspiring freelancer i have a book that you might want to check out so it's available on amazon and in shopee if you're in asia or um in some asia where shopee is available and you can just buy it there add to cart and you know just wait for it to arrive in your doorways and you can reach out to me once you've got the book so then we can hop on a call and talk more about how i could still give you more value after you're already reading the book and what kind of challenges you're facing after you've read it and if you love me here you can also connect with me in my other social media accounts instagram facebook tiktok you name it i'm almost everywhere but you can just connect me in there. Thank you so much for your time and I hope you enjoy this. If you have any other ideas for me to, to create or content for me to create, feel free also to leave them in the comment and I might create them for my next one. So see you on my next one. Bye.